جايز النهارده هنعمل ابسايد داون بينابل كيك هنعمل كيك عليها بينابل من تحت هتحتاجوا ثلاث بيضات اناناس بينابل تحتاجوا نص كوبايه سكر هاف كاب اوف شوجر اند هاف كاب اوف كوكونات شريت كوكونات هتحتاجوا نص كوبايه جوز هند وهتحتاجوا واحد ونص كوبايه من الدقيق 1 and a half cups of flour و و 3 4 كوبايه لبن رايب وهنحط هنا بنش اوف سالت هنحط رشه ملح و 1 تيبل 1 تيبل سبون بيكنج 1 تي سبون اي مين بيكنج باودر اند هاف تي هاف هاف تي سبون بيكنج سودا هنا حطينا بنش اوف سالت وكمان 1 تي سبون بيكنج باودر هنحط 1 معلقه صغيره بيكنج باودر وربع معلقه صغيره بيكنج صودا هنا حطينا 2 ثيرد كاب اوف شوجر علشان بعدين هنخليه يكرمل حطينا تلتين كوبايه سكر وهنخليهم يكرملوا وبعد ما كرمل هنحط عليهم ربع كوبايه زبده وعصيت ليمون هنحط عليهم ربع كوبايه زبده و معلقتين كبار ليمون معلقتين صغيرين من ليمون so right هنحط الزبده والسكر عشان ممكن يطرطش عليكم and it's very dangerous خطر جدا حط الليمون be careful of this part so dangerous mom is helping me out with this part and then we're gonna mix it Bubbles. Looks like a volcano. Put the pineapple. Um, hanhot the pineapple tah. We're gonna make it in circles. Wow, beautiful. So there's some empty space in the middle. I'm gonna use the um, leftover pieces. I'll have the little bit of the So cute. That's it. You see? So I just covered the part in the middle. I changed some things up بس ده شكلها دلوقتي احنا هنعمل البادر هنعمل الكيك ميكستشر وهنخليها نحط الوقت انجريدينتس الاول هنحط الحاجات السائله الاول هنحط ثلاث بيضات معاهم الفانيليا هنا السكر so here is the eggs and the vanilla together now we're gonna add the buttermilk لبن رايب لو انتوا عندكمش لبن رايب ممكن تحطوا لبن عادي وعليه شوية خل وهو يعمل لبن رايب ثيرد كاب اوف اويل هنحط اويل دلوقتي زيت كل دي المواد السائلة وهنخلطها بعدين هنحط لها الدراي انجريدينتس احنا هنقلب السكر دلوقتي دلوقتي هنحط الدقيق والملح والبيكنج صودا والبيكنج باودر We are in the light spilled it out And now we're gonna mix This is a very easy battery to make uh, Recipe sahla get done with it tastes very good and it doesn't take so much time. It's a thick batter, and we're gonna put it in the oven. Uh, to watch, uh, uh, to get bubbly in the inside, and yeah, we're gonna put it in the pineapples right now. Heavy. 
I forgot to put the coconut. And you're supposed to mix it with the batter because I can't mix it. So I'm going to put it right here and then mom is going to mix it. Here. We managed to salvage the problem, but please don't do this mistake. It will be so painful to do. And the pineapples we added in the end, the tiny pieces are moving around right now. So we're gonna put in the oven preheated. Um, and the oven should be uh, 180 degrees, so it cooks nicely. And when it comes out, I'll put it toothpick, I'll put it in the middle of the oven. And then we'll put it in the oven. If you don't have any residue, I don't have anything. But it's good. Fully cooked. Okay, guys, this is what it looked like when it came out of the oven. So beautiful and it's so spongy. Watch these holes with uh, with the we need them with a chopstick to make sure they're cooked. So fluffy. Um, and we left it oven and we did 25 minutes to 30 minutes just to make sure it's cooked. And it's a very fluffy, like very spongy cake. And you can make this batter alone without the pineapple on the bottom, and it would be still some delicious spongy cake. And you have to flip it when it's warm so the caramel is still melted at the bottom. Um, so you can eat it when it's like melted the caramel. It's delicious too. So yeah, we're gonna flip it after it cools down. So this is the cake. We couldn't help it, so we tried a little piece from it. We didn't <laughs> taste it. We didn't taste it, okay? So now we're gonna try. I'm obviously gonna take from the caramel part. Oh, the, car the piece of pineapple just stuck. I'm gonna just take a piece, put it back here. There. Piece of cake, piece of pineapple. You're taking forever. Mm. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Mm. 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 So good. It's like a birthday cake. 